Right, let's go. So we're taught at a very young age to recognise letter forms, which makes typography one of the most um, important ways to communicate. Um, so it should really be treated with consideration and respect. Um, bad typography is everywhere and good typography is invisible. But what is bad typography? Well, I'm sure you've all heard of Comic Sans. Um, some of you probably even used it. Um, and personally, if someone put it on my gravestone, I would definitely haunt them. But um, another famous typeface is Helvetica. If you haven't heard of it, you've certainly seen it hundreds of times already today. It's everywhere. And um, but is this a good thing or is it a bad thing? Well, um, these are just a handful of examples of logos um, that use it, and I think, um, and companies that use it as well. But um, I think it shows that designers love it and love to use it, but also many see it as a, a safe option. Um, and, you know, this makes it, you know, this ubiquity make it, makes it stale and boring. Um, but it's not just a typeface, it's become a brand over the years it's been around. And um, it even had a documentary film made about it to celebrate its 50th birthday. I suspect some of you may have seen it. Um, <laughs> but um, a mar uh, marketing has a massive, massive impact on it. As an example, um, Coca-Cola, um, it's been heavily marketed and read readily available, which, um, you know, that doesn't mean it's the perfect soft drink. And in the same way, Helvetica had the, the full force of the linotype marketing machine behind it. And so the small foundries just didn't stand a chance, those with uh, the um, sort of released universe. But um, so a lot of people say it's a fluke of marketing that... Um, that Helvetica is as, as popular as it is today. Um, Helvetica is so overused because Apple licensed it within their software. Microsoft did a similar thing with a, a typeface called Arial, um, which I'm sure you've heard of. But strangely enough, their, their logo uses Helvetica, which I think shows Arial's inferiority. <laughs> but um, but um, the, the genuine contender to Helvetica is a typeface called Universe, which I'm sure many of you probably haven't heard of. Um, it was actually released a year before Helvetica, and um, it was released by a smaller foundry. Um, it was, it was hand-drawn as well, which I think is important. Um, it was actually adapted for use on ordnance survey maps, which I think endorses it as a, a very legible and, and clean typeface. Um, but Universe's creator was this chap here called um, Adrian Frutiger. Um, he's probably one of the most successful typographers of the 20th century, and um, he designed many, many other typefaces, as you can see here. But Universe is still his most celebrated and successful typeface. Um, his own quote here, uh, discussing his rival's uh, popularity. Helvetica is the jeans and Universe is the dinner jacket. Helvetica is here to stay. Um, but what are the physical differences? And, and you know, does this justify the rivalry in the design world? Well, um, Universe was a much more original design. It was drawn by hand, as I mentioned earlier. But um, the, the most important thing was this weight table. And it uses numbers instead of the old-fashioned bold italic, which was a completely new way back in the day to, um, to identify um, families. And, um, but a lot of people actually say that the biggest difference is in some of the capital letters, as you can see here, some of the numerals, if you compare them side by side. But that's just looking at the, the details of the characters. Now, if we were to look at it in a different way, if we look at you know, maybe a single character like the end, I mean, can anyone tell the difference between them? It's, al it's almost impossible to tell the difference between the two looking at them like this. But if you start looking at them in a, in a different way, if you start to look at the, the characters side by side, you'll see that actually the biggest difference isn't in the forms of the letters, but um, in the space around and between the letters, which is quite an important part of this. So if you imagine a text set in universe, um, you'll see that it's calm and it's cool and it's easy to read. Um, and that's because it was designed to create a comfortable space and to, to be much more legible. And I think in this way, it is, is a better typeface than Helvetica. I mean, this eloquent quote um, from a famous designer, I think, sums up um, what I'm trying to say. Um, you know, universe is a much more superior typeface. It fulfills the purpose. We've got to remember typography is about communicating effectively. So legibility is a really key part of that. Um, I celebrate universe's superiority because it's crafted better, its legibility exceeds that of Helvetica, but more than anything, it's because it's something other than Helvetica, and that's really important. Um, you know, for me, an attack on Helvetica isn't a, 
you know, it's an attack on the laziness and complacency behind its usage. Um, you know, for me, it, it's a safe option, and you know, design for me is about stretching boundaries and using the same typeface that everyone else uses. Just doesn't do it for me. Thank you.